Oh, so in today's video I'm doing this really glam smoky eye. It's involving very warm colours and just a nude lip. I've been wearing this look all throughout October for my nights out and my birthday nights out as well because my birthday was at the beginning of October. If you'd like to see how I did this look then keep on watching. So to start off I'm going to be using the Rimmel London Stay Matte Primer. I've nearly run out of this and I will be buying more because I love it. And that's going all around my pores. So my T-zone. I think I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. If you'd like to see a review on this foundation, then let me know down below and I will do one for you. It is definitely full coverage. And that colour was in Warm Nude. And then I'm using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC20. And then I'm blending that all in with the Real Technique sponge. And then I'm going to set that with the Maybelline Matte Marker Powder. For contour, I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. And I'm going to take the one in the middle, the middle contour colour. And then I take Havana with a bigger brush and I blend that upwards. Then I'm using my MAC Mineralized Blush in Dainty, which is this one. I'm just going to drag it upwards the same way I have done with my contour, just above it. Time for my brows. So I'm just using the Maybelline Gel Liner in brown. And then I take my The Balm Nude Tude Palette and I use Sultry for the front of my brow and then I use Sleek for the rest of my brow. use the Benefit Gimme Brow and I brush the front bit up and curve it in slightly. The difference is unreal. And then I take my Graftobian Highlight Contour Palette and I clean up underneath. I always clean up the end bit as well above just to sharpen it. One brow. I'll be back in a second with the other one done. Okay, so there's the brows done. So now moving on to the eyes, I'm using the Graftobian Highlight Contour Palette and I'm going to be using the same colour I used underneath my brows to clean them up, just as a base. All the way up to the top, blend that in with my finger. Then I set that with a light eyeshadow, like a cream colour, before I put the rest of the shadows on, just so it blends out well. Okay, so to start off, I'm going into the MAC Warm Neutrals palette, which is this one, and I'm taking Saddle, this one, which is a really warm brown, and that's just going all over the base of my lid. I'm going to start blending it upwards. And then I'm also going to take that underneath. Really make it smoky, drag it down quite low. I'm just connecting it to the top half. 
And then I'm going in to the Balm Nude Tooth Palette and I'm taking Sleek, this really dark chocolatey brown. Just taking a smaller, more dense brush. And that's going on the corner, first of all. I'm going to start dragging it inwards, not far at all, and into the crease. So I haven't dragged it in much, and then I'll just drag it through the crease. And I'll just keep packing that on. I've dragged it underneath my eye as well. Make sure they connect. And I get a more fluffy brush and start blending it. And then taking the Maybelline Gel Liner in black, which is going in my waterline. Okay, so there's both the eyes pretty much done. I'm just going to add some more bits to it. So I'm going to go back into the Nude Tood palette and I'm going to take, it's the black in the corner, I can't, I've covered up the name completely. And I'm going to take this tiny brush and that's going to go so right by the lash line. There we go, like that. And then Maybelline New York Master Graphic Liner, which is the marker pen one. I haven't used this in a while. But I'm gonna today, I'm gonna do a wing. Nothing major, just the normal one. I'm then going to put some mascara. This is the Bodybuilder Mascara by The Balm. Put it on the top and the bottom. And then I'm going to put some lashes on. What lashes have I got? These lashes are eye lure. I don't actually know what ones they're called at the moment. Another tip. I was just waiting for it to dry so I could tell you. If you get mascara on your lid, um, don't touch it. Just wait for it to dry. Mine's dried now. I don't know if you can see it. It's just here. Just take your brush. Gone. Got pins and needles so bad by now. Now I'm going to apply another layer of mascara just to blend the lashes with my own. Okay, looking bold now. Okay, so now for some last bits. I'm just going to take the banana powder from the Anastasia contour palette. I'm just going to run that underneath my eyes. On my chin, forehead, and my nose, around my nose. I'm also going to contour my nose a little bit more so it's even more defined. So I'm taking that middle contour colour from the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I'm going to highlight using Topshop Crescent Moon Highlighter. And then it's time for lips. I might try a new liner. This one is Essence Long Lasting Lip Liner in Girl Next Door. I'm going to give it a go. I like my normal colour. Let's go back to Rimmel London Tiramisu. Okay, so that's the lip liner that I like. We're going to go for what colour lips? Hmm, Honey Love? That wouldn't be a surprise, would it? Okay, I have a few here that I've been wearing and I'm not sure which one to choose. Velvet Teddy. Nope, don't want it for this one. 
<laughs> so I'll be out of this one. Hmm. This is the colour I've been going for recently. Do it. I don't know. Thinking, honey, love. You know what? Maybe I'll do a mixture of the both. Let's do that. So that's Honey Love, and I'll put this one maybe in the middle. Quite like that colour. Mixture of the both. Now I want to use some gloss. Which gloss shall I use? So that are these two. So Maybelline New York um, colour elixirs. I have um, Nude Illusion and Petal Plush. More pink or more beige? Hmm. Hard choice, hard choice. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? I'm going to go for the pink. The Graftobin palette, I'm just going to clean up. Right, back into the MAC palette. I am taking Lemon Tart, which is this one. And that's going just in the corner. And that is the final touch. And this is the finished look. So if you enjoyed this makeup look, then please thumbs up and subscribe. I will see you in my next video.